When designing maps, it's really tempting to make complex, detailed symbols. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. In this video, I'll show you how to simplify symbology and try to convince you that it's a good thing for your map. I'll be working in ArcGIS Pro, but the lesson holds true in any mapping context. This map shows bus routes, bus stops, bus terminals, and park and ride stations. The symbols are a bit more complex than they need to be. I'm always trying to remove visual clutter from my map. Any extra marks that aren't aiding in communication can be a distraction. It might be a very tiny distraction, but they add up quickly. Visual clutter means that it will take people longer to read and to understand my map. So I'm going to try to simplify these symbols. I'll start with the bus terminal symbol. If I open the symbology pane and go to the properties tab, on the Layers tab, I can see that there are three symbol layers. That's kind of a lot, but actually I think that the complexity is justified here. The large symbol with multiple buses helps to communicate that it's a bus terminal. However, there's no need for this symbol to have three colors. If I change the outline, now it only has two, purple and white. It is simpler, but I think I can take this further. If I swap the colors of the buses and the background, I don't need an outline anymore. See how this symbol conveys the same information as the old one, but with less complexity? Next, I'll look at the park and ride stations. These are places where you can park your car to catch a bus into the city. And I'll do the same thing here, but with a blue background. It's still a fairly complex symbol with this little bus and this little car, but again, I think it's justified. And there's so few of these symbols on the map that it's less of a concern. Next, the bus stops. This symbol is needlessly complicated. It has two outlines. You might argue that the pale purple outline is barely visible, so what harm is it doing? But marks that are barely visible cause visual confusion. They make you squint. You're not sure if you're seeing something or not. That's not a great thing for your map. I will remove this symbol layer. Next, I'll see if I can get rid of the background. Nope, it did not work, but it probably would if this was a simple circle instead of a complex bus. Here's a case where I think adding an outline will help, especially in those places with overlapping symbols. Usually I advocate for removing outlines, but if they're serving a purpose, leave them in. Now, if you're worried that these symbols are too simple and people won't know that they're bus stops, a good map title can solve that problem. There will also be a legend to help people out. When designing symbols, you're always trying to balance simplicity and intuition. It's great when symbols are obvious and no one needs to look at the legend. But if that means that your symbols are complex and your map has too much visual clutter, the benefit might be lost. You need to find a balance between these two goals. It will depend on how often the symbol appears on the map and how many other symbols it's competing with. Finally, I'll work on the bus routes layer. And I think you know what I'm going to suggest here. I can just as easily communicate this layer with only one symbol layer, although it does need to be a darker color and perhaps not as thick. Here's the map I started with, and here's the simplified version. I kept some of the symbols fairly complex, and I dramatically simplified others. Which map do you think is easier to read?